Hi guys, Briggs here with yet another video. I want to reveal to you a special secret I found out about this hoverboard. It has a beginner mode and an expert mode. I don't know if that's the name they call. So let's just get. Let me just show you how what I mean by that, right? So if I power these bad boys up and I take it for a normal spin, it's pretty easy to maneuver and turn around easily. You know, it can go pretty fast. I don't know if you noticed that. The same for this one too. Basically, that's what I'm testing. How fast you can turn. That's what I'm testing about now. But when you go to the, this is the advanced mode. That's the default mode you find on all overboards. But if you're giving this device to kids, if you're giving it to somebody who doesn't want to go too far, somebody who is afraid of falling, people who want to ride for the first time, I wouldn't recommend you put it in this mode because these modes can easily turn and at a, in any gravel or anything on the floor that you got on, you're gonna like likely to fall. So the at beginner mode, who is the best mode for people who don't want to fall from these things. So basically what you do is power off your overboard, right? And turn it on and immediately press the power on button again. So what I mean is one, did you hear that? Let me do it again. So when you hear that sound, that means it's in beginner mode. I'll do it one more time so you see what I mean. Power on. No. That's it. Once it makes that long beep, you know it's in beginner mode. I'll try out the beginner mode and you see the difference between beginner mode and advanced mode. I can go as fast. This is as fast as I can go. I'm not trying to fake this or anything. If you have an overboard, try it. You can do that fast move. I can turn. This is as fast as I can turn. This is as fast as I can turn, guys. Go back to the advanced mode. Let me show you again. To go back to the advanced mode, you simply turn it off and turn it back on normal without doing the long beep thing. So, this is advanced mode, guys. This is advanced mode. The difference is clear. You can see how fast I can turn on this, you know, and how easy it is for me to go. While on the other mode, you cannot do that. Even if you want to, you cannot. So power off. On. Long beep means normal mode. Beginner mode. I'll show you again, guys. This is too slow for me. I'm an advanced user, so I like to use the advanced mode. So if you're going to be giving your overboard for a kid or somebody to ride for the first time, just put it in that beginner mode and let them have a thrill with it. They won't go, they won't be able to fall, they won't be shaking that much. Basically what is happening is the motors won't be responding as fast as they usually would when you tap the pedals. That is what is happening. This, is, this trick is not in the manual, it's not everywhere. I just wanted to share it with you guys. So hope you like this video. Watch our other unboxing videos and our hoverboard test rides on sand, on, on grass or rough surfaces. And make sure you subscribe to this channel, the Soccer Bricks channel, for more videos like this. And of course our other videos that don't have to do with the hoverboard. So thanks for watching and hope you like this little trick I shared with you guys. Peace, Bricks.